Alrighty folks, welcome back to another one. Um, today we are demoing a Bobcat L28. Actually all week we've been demoing it. So I'm gonna do a, say do a walk around video of it while we got it here. So I've been using it at my house this weekend, but so there it is, sitting beside our MT85. Um, yeah, we think one of these would work pretty good for what we do, because it articulates in the middle, got turf tires, the uh, loader extends um, so I'll sh start it up show some features here but I think it's rated to lift 1500 pounds it'll lift more it just when you start moving that's just when it gets tipsy so get it started up here there's Gus checking it out um, I think it has a Kubota three-cylinder engine. I think it's the same one as in the MT-85. So, uh, it's Bobcat and Lima. They have this one in their demo, or in their rental pool. And uh, they're letting us try it out here, so. stays when you raise and lower the bucket stays level there it's got the quick attach hydraulics uh, it's got the smaller bobcat plate same as the MT-85 then this other button here controls your auxiliary but we haven't had anything on there yet Brandon might run the grapple here later we'll see I think it'll go about eight foot Maybe higher. It loads in our dump truck, so. turn the other way and open the door otherwise the door hits let it warm up a little bit more and then I got a compost pile at the back of the yard I'll stir up and so it just has forward and reverse pedal there um, no brake pedal, which I think will be handy sometimes, but you can just hold the forward or reverse, or you got your parking 
brake right here. Uh, radio, horn, throttle here, wiper. It's got LED lights. Uh, you can get a counterweight kit for it. I think it's a, it adds four to five hundred pounds. So we're not buying one yet, but it might be something next year we'll look into. I think it definitely would be worth it. Not that you can really dig with this, but this is more for moving material. We got a tooth bucket for our MT-85 and that. I mean, for you can do some digging with it. Just depends what you're trying to do. But this, yeah, this works better for moving material. So, my wife put all these piles of dirt back here. We're moving it back here to cover up these tree roots. That way I can plant grass and mow, mow up to them. And it's not really for grading, but like I said, moving materials, pallets, and low impact on the yard. Being that it articulates, you're going to tear up the yard like, like a big skid loader or even less than that MT-85. So here I got this compost pile here, I'll uh, stir up a little bit, then maybe I'll move a couple more scoops of dirt back here.
the weight of the machine actually is. I'm going to guess it's close to 3,000 pounds, but, but without looking it up, I'm not sure. So right now it's also got intact. 
looking good. So that's a little over, just a little bit over eight foot. I'm gonna clean the leaves up at my house. Next issue is you can't lift any higher, you have to tip back. Oh, I might be able to extend off a little. Oh, man. All right, we'll see what happens. And you are all the way up, too. Yeah, just start tipping back. I mean, you don't need a lot. Oh, yeah. If you can go straight back and then bring it down. I, I had my hand in the Not your ideal machine for uh, for uh, getting stuff off pallets, but but it's working. Shove some dirt up a pile. Just some fill dirt, shove that up into the fill pile. So, get some exercise from the outside. Gotta stay right here. Stay here. Nice.
Come on. No. So like I said, from the Bobcat Alima, Brandon's in there running his camel crocs. Sunday shoes. Everyone needs one of these units. Yeah. Let I, me tell you. I was about to say, you need uh, some Bobcat Crocs. Oh, like Dave. Yep, like Dave. Might so, have to get some. What's your uh, thoughts on this? I was telling them mine earlier. Well, yeah, that's pretty slick. You fit in there just right, don't you? Like a glove in a glove, you know? Yep. We just uh, need a backup camera or some mirrors or something. Yeah, yeah, a mirror or something. But that way I'm not cranking my neck around every time. Right. Um, Counterweights. That way we can lift a little bit more. Yep. Um, going haywire. But We're here. Since you're in there, why don't you show them the articulating? Since I can record out here and then the boom up and it, well we saw that earlier in the barn, but let's see that articulating. Don't don't hit your door. Close. I didn't know if it missed or not. That's tight. That's tight. Got. Oh yeah, doesn't tear up the grass at all. Like I said, the only thing is it's heavy. Pretty heavy, so compaction, but. Think about that turn radius. That's pretty slick. Pretty slick, so. Yeah, pretty sharp. It's pretty quick. It is. I haven't had it up all the way, full speed. I haven't had a chance, so. Nope. Okay. I didn't know if I was gonna make it up with that dirt pile or not. Oh, it climbed right up. But, yeah, you just keep your drop to the floor and What's that? Put your Crocs to the floor? Crocs to the floor and let her go. Yep. All right, let's see a couple more scoops. Okay. Then we'll sign out of here. Yep, there's a pond. Okay. Anything else? Um, we need to get one ordered, that's for sure. Yep, that's about all. So, all right. Thanks for watching, folks. Okay. Let's see the jig. Okay. Here we are at this patio job. Uh, we are definitely an L28, Bobcat L28 for a week. So, uh, Brandon's running it for, I don't know, he's had a little bit of seat time. Not a whole lot, just moving pallets mainly, but now we're going to be moving stone. Got a lot of stone to move in here. We 
We think this will be a game changer because it's got turf tires and articulates. So it really won't be turning up, tearing up the yard. So we got gonna be patio raised all the way up to the door here. Steps right here and the fireplace, natural gas or gas fireplace there with the TV mounted up higher and then seat walls around it with a lot of lights so should have this wrapped up here take a few weeks to get it wrapped up but moving right along pretty good just got to fill this two layers here with about a foot of stone and then we'll do put geo grid down next time. okay we've got get smarter now get the stone all the way up in this corner i have them dumping the wheelbarrows I'll push them up there and dump them. Boom extends on that. It's got self-leveling as you raise it up. A little closer. like you get some take takes some getting used to with uh, being that articulates pretty smooth ride Dump it on there yet? Yeah, go ahead and let her up. This is Brandon's vehicle for the cab. Took the back window out because there's no air conditioning. 